In this exercise, using the pedis pocket, we'll be focusing on the transverse arch, which is the arch that constitutes this part of the foot. So what we want to do is flip the pedis pocket like that, and then place our forefoot or the ball of the foot on top of the ridge here. And what that will do is drop the first and fifth a bit lower relative to the second, third, and fourth. Now this is a very good exercise for a lot of people, specifically if you have metatarsalgia, even Morton's neuroma, even cramped toes, because the metatarsals will tend to get into that dropped position in the mid part of the metatarsals or the forefoot because of the shape of shoes. Now what we want to make sure as we're doing this exercise is that we're placing the ridge where the highest point is between the second and third because that's typically where it drops down the most for most people. You can observe this and check this on yourself. If you check for calluses under your foot, if you observe harder parts of skin in any region, that's typically where your metatarsals have dropped more and that's where you wanna put the highest point of the ridge. With this exercise, similarly as the others, we wanna work with our knee, bringing it forward to apply weight and pressure along the forefoot and standing there with our knee in line with our toes for about 15 seconds and then relaxing. And similarly, we can work in a circular motion here as well. After working with the ball of the foot, we wanna bring our foot slightly more forward so that the ridge is no longer on top of the metatarsal heads, but slightly behind. So we're getting more towards the softer, bigger tissues behind the toe joints. And we're working in a similar fashion here, either bringing our knee forward in line with the toes, keeping the pressure there for 15 seconds and back, or bringing the knee forward and working in a circular motion, whichever feels more comfortable for you. But again, keep in mind, there may be some discomfort or even pain, which is normal when doing these exercises. You can keep working along the mid part of the foot all the way to you just reach the heel with this exercise. As you see what I'm doing here, I'm lifting my toes as well as I relieve the pressure from the foot. And as I bring my knee forward, I'm planting my toes. And this is just to get more blood flow and motion and activation in the soft tissues we're working with. So make sure you work for each point for about one set, 15 to 30 seconds. Good luck.